morning my viewers this is universal zameer tv and i am your host shreem bin mohammad rafi often we hear that the people who are criminals corrupt and they have laundered funds money and they have embezzled government funds they are the one who contest elections they are the one who adopt politics as their profession and they are the one usually as has been claimed uh, are in the legislative assemblies of the third world countries now i do not agree with that and the facts say otherwise and in order to prove that that it is the scum of the society which often the majority i'm talking about i'm sure there are very very decent people also they do contest elections they do go into politics and they consider it as a very noble cause but they are in such a small minority that their voice is never heard and they cannot make a dent and they cannot even be a part of any good legislation which will benefit the masses now in the audio you will listen to the super power uh, and you will be amazed that what kind of people are in the congress and the senate of that country now when you look back at the regime change what happened in pakistan the common man got to know that we got a bunch of thugs jise in urdu you will call them banmati ka kunba or in other words you had people who had charges like money laundering who had embezzled billions of dollars who have been charged been in jail the more than 60 to 70% of the people sitting in that uh, imported government and imposed on the normally majority elected party and prime minister who was thrown out by vote of non confidence by a corrupt general uh, on just with a stick in his hand on because he had that power which was bestowed on him as a chief of the army staff and not as an individual because deep down he was the most corrupt himself and he was saving his own billions so he had to uh, support the corrupt because otherwise how could he hide his own corruption and his own relatives had the same so it's it's not just limited to one person and uh, if i i'll be very unfair if i say that it is only because of that one man but that shows you that how wide spread corruption is in pakistan and we heard this that one man has uh, got up and he wants to uh, you know clean all this corruption and and he sort of realized and he relied on institutions like nab fia and they were the conventional uh, you know institutions who were supposed to uh, charge these people take them to task prove that they have embezzled money and uh, created you know jit special investigation teams with judiciary with the army with intelligence agencies and wasted millions and millions of rupees of pakistan poor countries money and when they came up to charge them to book them to put them behind the bars here comes in from the shadows a man who gets these banmati ka kunba from and each one of them he made sure he gets the corrupt people so because it was easy prey and they was easy to coax them it was easy to convince them because that they could then hide which is uh, called the nro2 famous and most uh, disgusting you know disgraceful bird that they give this first was given by a military dictator general Sheikh Musharraf and now this one was again given by a army man again a chief of an army man bajwa now enough has been said to that man and he has already been punished in my view a lot everybody wants to gracefully retire 
and five, six, ten, or total service of forty, fifty year, whatever, and his elders, and his children, and his wife, and his family, that he should be respected after retirement. Unfortunately, the man destroyed all that for himself. Tragic, but real. So, we are crying, uh, wolf, that in our national assembly we have criminals sitting there. Who don't even look in each other's eyes, let alone that they can uh, cohesively and they can uh, cooperatively and work as a team and bring the country out of crisis and bring the cost of living to the bearable so that the poor can also uh, survive in this country. They have made the life of the poor in this country hell. Even the middle class has vanished. So if you now listen to this audio, and see that the United States of America, the what percentage of criminals is in Congress and states, you will be stunned. And he said, Dad, guess which is it? Is it NBA or NFL? 36 have been accused of spousal abuse. Seven have been arrested for fraud. 19 have been accused of writing bad checks. 117 have directly or indirectly uh, been bankrupted at least two businesses. Three have done time for assault. 71, I repeat, 71 cannot get a credit card due to their bad credit. 14 have been arrested on drug-related charges. Eight have been arrested for shoplifting. 21 currently are defendants in lawsuits. And 84 have been arrested for drunk driving in the last year. How many of you think NBA? How many of you think NFL? Well, the answer is neither. It's the 435 members of the United States Congress. So this is not an isolated incident that in Pakistan you have such people who are in the government and deciding about you, making laws. Naturally, if you have thugs and thieves and people like that sitting, they would like to make laws which protect them. They protect their theft, protect their robbery, protect their murders, protect their money laundering, so that's what we have. So the tiny minority will just be suffocated because they are an overwhelming majority. And this is exactly what is happening in the superpower, in the legislative houses, both the lower and the upper house. That's what's happening. Now, what do you expect from that kind of a superpower? This is why their superpower is evil, and that superpower, which is evil, is Evil is spreading in Middle East, evil has invaded a lot of countries, evil is now fighting in Ukraine, evil has been fighting in Afghanistan, evil has always been fighting in either South America, or there has never ever ever been the end of the war because of this evil people sitting there in those houses. Now most of the defense industry is, I think, funded and owned by the establishment there. Now, how would they like that their own business goes into uh, loss? So the war must continue. So no matter what the United Nations says, what the United States Security Council says, what the alliances like NATO or other alliances, you know, advocate, no. In Urdu we say that the hati ke daant khane ke aur, aur dikhane ke aur. Yeah, the teeth which an elephant has, with which he chews are different from the teeth which he shows outside as ivory. So unfortunately, I have given you this in audio, a glimpse of what is controlling the legislative assemblies in the superpower of the world and what is controlling the legislative assembly of this imported government in Pakistan by brought about by a the establishment or by a, an army man. And now this you can criticize, you can hate, do whatever you like, but the real picture is what I have given to you. What is the solution? I think the solution is when people say that you should be have awareness enough, you should be mature enough, you should be democratic enough to hold the pillars of democracy, then such interference, such corrupt people will not know. I don't think it is. I think it is the judicial system. If you have the justice system very strong, if you 
make it mandatory to take care of the poor as your state responsibility both health and education transport and environment and the climate then i think you can flourish and have a state which is judicious then you will have the noble people come up then you do not have to spend billions of dollars in the campaign to contest the election and then you get funds from various uh, agencies now then once you are getting those funds during the your election campaign then you are blackmailed by those people and this is why all these people who are there in the congress and in the senate and they fund them and they give them in billions billions not only the big state corporations or big businesses even the vested interest people like the, you have jewish bodies you have hindu bodies you have indian lobby you have lobbyists lobbyists and lobbyists all over and they are like flies uh, you know flying up in there to look where they ever can sit and suck their blood because they know once they have invested millions and the guy has been elected in congress or senate will watch their interest and in fact will do the unjust to the poor at the expense of the poor so this person who suffers irrespective whether it's pakistan or it's united states of america is always the poor so the receiving end who gets the worst is the poor so the story is the same in pakistan and united states so you come back to the system the whether this system of the government is the right system it's not it's the people who are just people who are honest they are the one who should be running our governments and not elected by this uh, special method where the money comes from big businesses with these words that we have to look for an alternative form of government and then i think we can hope for it there are many bodies many think tanks but unfortunately everyone seems to be following on one path which is a wrong path and it's going to take you to a wrong destination so called broken crippled democracy corrupt democracy a tried horse which has a broken legs and that is now the debu that you know i have must a democratic country here is the example of taliban who have no money look at their budget they have nothing and look everybody felt no one recognizes them because of their deeds because of what they do to their women and what it's they do to the, their according to their faith but they are not in the mainstream but look at that they do not want borrow a penny from imf world bank or from big businesses but they do not let them interfere look at their fluffy trousers look at their bare foot look at their slippers but that shows you that there is an alternative way of government and there is always a room for making changes converting them to be fair to their women and daughters and children and then have a judicious and a good alternative form of government at the moment you will point your fingers and so would i that nobody is going to accept that kind of a government where you are discriminating against you know women and girls now with these remarks that we need an alternative form of government all over the world in the civilized world in the developing world and then and then alone we can breathe and have some justice on the grassroots level and the poor can be benefit from the resources of the country where he or she lives with this i beg your permission and say goodbye zameer universal television ko subscribe karna na bhule uske baad bell button pe click kare aur apne comments ke section mein apne keemti jo khayalat ka izhar zaroor